we will begin with a um, quick introduction, the concept of authentic processing or authentic process. We'll dive into the manufacturing methods, uh, mainly again as the uh, webinar title says it's going to be on compression or injection compression and the conventional injection mode. So we'll talk about those two manufacturing methods, why we would want to use one or the over the other. We'll then dive into two case investigations of a life, life guide plate and a prism array and a brief conclusion of the webinar. So a quick introduction, um, why optics and why optics simulation? So using optics simulation, we can predict the flow or the uh, biofringence, whether it's thermal induced or flow induced biofringence, the retardation and the fringe pattern um, from the manufacturing process and how it can potentially affect your overall part quality. Or lens quality. So, using Molda 3D, we can integrate, uh, use our simulation results and integrate it with other optical software as well um, to help us create better or get better results in terms of optic properties, um, light passing through the lens based off of Molda 3D simulation results. So application of plastic lens with the growth of plastic, uh, with the growth of the plastic industry, more and more injection molded parts such as optical disc lenses and waveguides are widely used in uh, optical applications for their good optical performance. So we commonly see these in cameras, glasses telescope, binoculars, and such. So optical parts are manufactured using either glass or plastic. Glass has better properties to withstand environmental changes compared to plastics, but they weigh more and the manufacturing process is more complex. 